OpenAI just entered the AI agent space and killed at least a dozen startups. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and OpenAI on Dev Day just unveiled their own agent builder, allowing anyone to effortlessly drag and drop and create any agent that they want powered by OpenAI's latest GPT-5 models. In this video, I'm going to show you how agent builder works examples of some agents that you can build with it and all the different features that you get with agent builder if you watch till the end you will also learn how to create and deploy the same agent on the internet for anyone to use hit the like button and subscribe and let's get started with the agent builder all right so this is what agent builder looks like you simply have to go to platform.openai.com slash agent dash builder and this is the interface that you will see first of all we have the create option but before that, let me actually show you the examples of the types of agent you can build with Agent Builder. So first of all, let's have a look at the planning helper agent. What you will see first is the start trigger. This is what triggers and enables the entire agent to start. Then we have a triage agent, which basically gathers the key details about any particular business initiative. Then there is a condition. So you can add if and else statements as well, which says if it has all the details, so all details, equals to true, then it will access the launch helper agent, which will basically come up with a tailored plan for the user to run this particular business initiative. If the business details are not enough, then we will have the get data agent. So collect the missing data from the user, look through the conversation to extract the following. And then this is basically what the agent entirely looks like. There's also a customer service agent, which starts with first classifying the problem that the customer has. So based on let's say return item, cancel subscription, get information. We will have different agents that will be running based on the problem that the person has. For the return item query, we have the return agent, which will approve the user and then execute that action. Then we have the retention agent, which will try for people to not cancel the subscription. Then we'll have the information agent. And what you will notice is that for every agent that we have, we are entering instructions. So every agent needs to have an instruction based on which it runs and performs its actions. Then we are also having its model. So in this case, it's choosing the GPT 4.1 mini. Then we have tools. So it's currently using get retention offers, which is basically a function from the previous module, which is the condition over here that we have. All right, let's try to create an agent from scratch. So we first of all have the start trigger, which will basically be our text input. Then we will have this my agent. So I can first of all classify the problem that the person is having. Say I want to build an agent which will help me learn everything about AI. So I first need to classify if I'm looking to get the latest AI news or I want to understand how to use a particular AI tool or I want to learn about the basic fundamentals of AI like machine learning and neural networks. So I can classify this. So I can have a classifier agent which will basically be like you're a helpful classifier agent who will understand the query and categorize it into either AI news, AI tool info or AI basics teach. We can keep the model to be GPT-5, but the output needs to be a JSON object, which would have a schema as so. So we would basically keep it a uh, property name would be category. And you would basically have something like AI news. We could also have AI tool. We could also have AI basics. We could also have AI business idea. Okay. That is pretty much it. Then we can update it and our agent is good to go. We can start one more node over here and this would be a conditional. So we are saying that if the output text and after we find what the query is going to be from the else if statements over here, then we can create particular agents for each. For example, the AI news agent, which would basically be having access to the web. So I'll enable web search. I will give it, let's add this. I will also write over here, AI news agent, research the web for the latest updates in the world of generative AI and present it to me in a simple bulleted list of at least seven to 10 list items. And that is it. That is what my AI news agent will look like. Similarly, I can create more agents, which would be for AI tool. So this would be AI tool agent. 
Again, this would have access to the web. So I can add this over here. And here I can say, give a in-depth description for how to use a particular AI tool along with examples of what you can do with it. For example, if that's what we want to do, then we can have one more AI agent right here, which would be for AI basics. So we would basically say, explain a AI concept like a teacher with at most simplicity. Let's say that's what we want to do with this one. And at the end, we can have a AI business idea agent as well. Now, again, you can also use MCPs over here. That's a great way for you to connect it to different apps and then use them. So if I use this agent for AI business idea, I will again give it access to the internet. So we'll do web search and we will say search the internet to find the most important and interesting business ideas people are deploying with the help of AI. That's it. That's our agent. And else, else could be just a simple reply. We will basically end it. This would be how we will be ending the loop and we are good to go. We can now simply just publish our workflow. Could be a AI news helper agent. We can publish it and it is published. And now, and there you go. That's how you create and deploy an agent for anyone to use using Agent Builder itself. Now, there's a lot more that you can do. You can even attach different MCPs to it. So for example, if I create another node over here and I can attach a MCP, which would basically allow us to interact with any of the apps like so. We have Gmail, we have Google Calendar, all of these apps we have access to Zapier, Shopify, we have HubSpot, Stripe, anything that you can use. We can even connect it to Gmail. And with Gmail, we would now be able to interact with Gmail with the help of this agent itself. So if you want to create an agent which can reply to your emails, you can very easily do that with the help of Agent Builder itself. But that's just one example of what you can build with the help of Agent Builder. That was the video. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about the Agent Builder by OpenAI? What kind of things you can build with it? Let me know below as well. Go try it out. It's available for everyone to try out. You simply need to, first of all, enter your payment info. And once you do that, you can very well access this agent and start using it from scratch. That was the video. Thanks a lot for watching this till the very end. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.